Step one to get 1000 subscribers on your YouTube channel right now is to be exclusively focused on YouTube shorts. Doesn't matter how many videos you have on your channel right now. If it's one or 500, it doesn't matter. If you're finally ready to take YouTube seriously and finally get that 1000 subscribers right now, the fastest and easiest way to do it is to make sure that you're uploading YouTube shorts. If you already have long form content on your channel, that's totally fine. But from now on to get the subscribers that you really want, you're going to have to focus all your efforts on making exclusively YouTube shorts for your channel. Later on your journey, if you want to make long form content, that's fine. But right now to get those initial subscribers, you need to be focusing on shorts. One of the reasons that you want to be focusing on exclusively on YouTube shorts is because you can post a ton of them a day. The second reason is very important. If you do YouTube shorts, you can test out your content before you put out long form content. If you do it this way, you're going to get an idea of what works and what doesn't. And after you have the 1000 subscribers that you came for, then you can start posting long form content as well but if you want to start continue growing at the rate that you're doing you can post long form content and also YouTube shorts and I highly suggest that you focus your efforts on making YouTube shorts for a long period of time way past those 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 100,000 until you grow your channel to a substantial level that you don't have to keep making YouTube shorts every single day anymore. And by that point, you're probably going to want to make YouTube shorts because it's going to be growing your channel so much that you're going to be posting both types of content. Once you start posting lots of shorts every single day, some of them are going to tank. Some of them are going to do very well. You're going to take those shorts that did very well. In the future, you're going to make long form content out of those shorts. If you were to do like all the other creators, most of the creators do and make long form content right now, Let's say you wanted to make a 10 minute video. It's going to take you hours, possibly days, depending on your experience level. If you're just starting out and you're new to the platform, it could possibly take days for you to produce a 10 minute video on YouTube. When you want to make a good long video, you need to do some research. You need to write a script for the video. You need to shoot a thumbnail. You need to edit the thumbnail. You have to shoot the video. You have to edit the video. It's a very hard work. And in the end, if you make all of that effort towards a long video and it tanks, then you've just wasted a lot of time and effort for nothing, which is exactly the reason why you need to be making YouTube shorts right now. By posting YouTube shorts, you can literally post tons and tons of shorts a day and test tons and tons of topic every single day. It's that easy. Now, before we get into this strategy, I need to tell you, if you skip any of those steps that I'm going to lay out for you right now, it will be the reason why you're not going to reach the 1000 subscribers that you want. And if you do implement all of the steps that I'm laying out for you right now, you're going to blow up way past those 1000 subscribers. You need to be focused and you need to implement all of the steps that I'm going to lay out for you right now. One last time. This is very important. Implement all of the steps, not just one or two, all of them so you can be successful. Now, with that said, it doesn't matter who you are and what kind of content you make. There are three factors that are going to decide if you're going to be successful on the platform or not. The first thing that decides this is the click through rate that you get on your videos. And the click through rate is basically when someone sees your video, when someone sees the title of your video and the thumbnail, if they're going to click on that video or not. The second is after they click on your video, if you can get them to do that is the watch time you're going to get on that videos. Are people going to watch your video? How long are they going to watch it for? Are they going to watch the full video? And thirdly, it's the type of content that you're going to be making. It does not matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're making short content, long form content. These three factors apply to everyone on the platform and they are the three most important factors that you need to be aware of. And when it comes to the most successful people on YouTube, there are two things that they know how to do very, very well. Number one, they pick out very carefully the type of content that they're going to be putting out on YouTube. And secondly, they broaden their content to a very wide audience. There are so many creators that have posted long form content for many, many years. They've literally posted 100, 200, 300 videos and they've not seen growth. Some of them haven't even surpassed 1000 subscribers, even though they've made 100, 200, 300 videos. And people are literally blowing up overnight using the same strategy that we're talking about right now. Now, if you think that gaining hundreds of thousands of subscribers in just a few weeks and blowing up overnight is out of reach, the same exact thing can happen to you if you implement the strategies that I'm teaching you right now. Firstly, you need to be very hyper focused on the title of your shorts. This will raise your click through rate and get people to watch your video all the way to the end, getting you that sweet watch time that we just talked about. You need to understand that YouTube shorts are 15 seconds long, 25 seconds long, 35 seconds long. So you need to make sure 
that your title is invoking curiosity in the people that are seeing it. And it also has to make people watch the entire video. You've got to be making sure that the people that click on your video has the intent of watching your entire video all the way through the end, which is exactly what most of the successful people on YouTube are doing to get them tens of millions of views. You need to add a very strong hook to the title of your shorts to guarantee that when someone clicks on your video and watches your video, they're going to watch it all the way to the end. This is what's going to get you that insane amount of watch time. Another thing that you need to be making sure that you're doing is to make the video engaging. Make sure that something is always happening on the video so you keep people engaged on your video. People's attention spans have decreased. And they're not going to watch your video all the way through the end if it's still and boring all throughout the video. You need to be switching the screen or switching the clip every few seconds to keep people's attention. Unlike YouTube's long form content, your YouTube shorts need to be highly edited. No dull spaces in between clips. It needs to be very planned out and you need to add several clip changes. And you also need to add subtitles to your YouTube shorts. And to add the subtitles, there's a few ways you can do that. You can auto generate them in Premiere Pro or you can pay someone to do that for you. You could also upload those shorts into Instagram, generate some captions, download the video off of Instagram and upload it to YouTube. Another thing that you need to keep an eye out for is to not let people sign off of YouTube after they watch your video. And the way you do that is to end the video right after the best part of the video. What that's going to do for your YouTube channel is when they watch your video, they're going to be wanting more. And because they liked your content and they want more, they're going to go into your channel. They're going to watch more of your videos and they're going to subscribe, getting you that watch time and the most subscribers possible. If you do that, YouTube is going to constantly push your video to that person because the algorithm is going to see that that person watched your video all the way through the end. And after that, they're going to suggest your next videos to that same person, getting you that insane watch time. This is how you're ultimately going to get those 1000 subscribers really, really fast. You need to understand that YouTube is a platform that is based on momentum and you need to be making sure that you're getting that momentum. And to do that, you're going to have to make sure that you're implementing everything that I've just shared with you right now. And also you need to be making sure that you're going to be implementing the next things that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. Now, please understand that every piece of content that you post on YouTube needs to have a call to action. And what a call to action is, make sure you subscribe to the channel because right now I'm literally posting three times a day to help you out to implement all of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. And if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And this is very important because if you leave your question below and someone else has the same question as you and I answer it, I'm going to be helping other people as well at the same time. That right there that I just asked you to do that is a call to action. And that is ultimately what's going to show the people that's watching your video, what type of content that you post and also how often you post. So if they like your content, they can subscribe to your channel. And hopefully if you like my content, you've just done exactly that. Now, another thing that you have to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that you're uploading enough content on YouTube to give your channel a chance to succeed. Most people upload one or two shorts a week. And if you go into my YouTube channel right now, you're going to see that I'm posting three shorts every single day. And you can easily do this yourself because YouTube shorts are much quicker to make. And on top of that, you can use the YouTube shorts to test out your content, which is exactly what you should be doing. This will allow you to test what kind of topics will work for your channel in the future if you decide to make long form content. It's going to be proven for your channel and for your audience. Something that holds most people back is also the quality of the content that they're posting. Right from the get go, people don't post enough content because they're worried about the quality of the content. And this is the wrong thing to do because ultimately posting several times a day is what's going to make you a better creator. You need to find out what your content should look like and what it should be about. And you can get an idea with planning, but ultimately you're only going to know that by posting several times a day. You're going to have to throw out a lot of things and go through trial and fails until you hit those successes. And if you're just starting out on YouTube, you're probably going to struggle to come up with titles thumbnails, do the editing and come up with content. And the best way to get over that very quickly is to be posting YouTube shorts so you can get those 1000 subscribers much faster than you could have ever, ever imagined. And you need to have a call to action at the end of your video so people will remember to subscribe to your channel. Even if the person watching your video likes your content, they might forget to subscribe at the end of the video just because you didn't leave a call to action. Like I said in my call to action, I'm posting three times a day to help you implement this stuff. And by saying that is what ultimately made you aware that I have more videos on my channel like this 
that will help you get more people and more subscribers to your own channel. And the benefit of adding a call to action at the end of your video is because you will know two things. The first thing you will know about the person is that they are interested in your video because if they watched it all the way through to the end, then they have interest in what you're talking about. And second, just by the title of the video that you posted and the, po the person watched until the end, you're gonna have a good idea of what type of content that person wants to watch so you can make a very good and strong call to action at the end of the video to give a good reason for that person to subscribe to your channel. And the last and most important factor to help you grow on YouTube is the actual topic of the video. Please understand that YouTube does not go out once you post a video and look for viewers to watch your video. When you post a video, YouTube already has an audience for that video. So it, the algorithm goes out and puts your video in front of people that it already knows that likes the type of content by the topic of the video that you've just posted. And since YouTube already has an audience for that video, you, all you need to do is create a video that generates value to that audience. And their number one factor that they look at to decide who they're going to push out your content to is the viewers past watch history. So you need to make videos about things that people are already watching on YouTube. Most people that make videos for YouTube, they wanna make videos that they want to make. And that's not the way YouTube works. You can't be putting out things that you are interested in. You need to be putting out content that you already know that people watch and have interest for. That is why most of the YouTube shorts you see on YouTube are about famous or rich people. And that's because most of the people on YouTube already know those people and you need to be taking advantage of that as well. You need to be adding these to your videos because this will ultimately dramatically increase the number of views you get on your shorts. You need to be making sure that you're using influential people on your shorts because that's what's going to make you successful. If you're making videos about business or how to make money on the internet and then you post a short about Elon Musk, YouTube is now going to push your shorts to people that already watch Elon Musk on YouTube. You need to start taking this into consideration and see what audiences YouTube already has and you need to start taking advantage of that. And don't expect your first video to go viral or even your 10th video to go viral. YouTube needs to gather data about you and the more you post, the more data you're going to give YouTube about the content that you're posting and the more opportunities you're gonna be giving yourself to go viral on the platform. Let's say you post once a week, then you're giving yourself one chance every week to go viral on YouTube. And let's say you post three times a day, you're giving yourself 21 chances every single week to go viral on that platform. Plus, you're going to get much, much better at creating content, creating your own videos. And in time, that is what's going to make your videos a lot better and attract a lot more views. You need to understand that the content you post on YouTube lives forever. YouTube works for you when you're not working. Things on YouTube, most of the time, starts slow and picks up speed. And if you compare it to other platforms, they start really quick and then they stop over time. YouTube is not like that. And if you apply the things that I've just taught you, you're gonna blow way past those 1000 subscribers. And remember, the most important thing that you can do is subscribe to the channel because I'm posting multiple times a day to help you implement what we've just talked about. And if you wanna know more about YouTube Shorts and even how to make money with them, click this video right here right now. And I'll see you on the other video. Work hard, play harder.